Mr. Heilu. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So nice to have you on the show. Oh, thank you so much. And also welcome to my friends. Yeah. Your friends in the band. Okay. Very important. Okay. Um, what an amazing story you have, from mm. from stardom to driving the taxi in 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 Washington, and then finding your way back to the stage and a, and a new audience. Yes. People who get into your taxi, do they? Know, or did they know <laughs> that they were sitting in the in the, in a taxi with a with a with a legend from Ethiopia <laughs> that you have uh, uh, your keyboard stashed into your trunk? Yeah, what happened is like when when uh, some um, customers, especially Ethiopians, when they come to my car, of course, did they recognize they look, you? They, they they don't recognize me because most of this, them are you know young generation. Ah, I see. So when they see my name. Then they will, they will always ask me, are you the real Hailu Mergia, the one who play music? And then we start talking about the, the issue, and then they get surprised. Yeah. You know? And after I drop any, any customers, and then, you know, I have always a keyboard in my trunk, which works with the battery. Yes. And then, you know, until I get to the next trip, I just you sat, practice. Yeah, sit down in my uh, back seat. Really? Yeah, and then practice. Wow. Yeah. And what? Drove you to keep practicing? Did you? Did you? Were you thinking like, well, one day I'm gonna get my revenge and I'm gonna play all over the world, or did you just mm. play because you need to play? I, uh, there are two things. One, um, I just want to practice while because sometimes you know I cannot go back to my house from the airport. It wasted time. Where you drive? Yeah. Okay. So it's better to stay in my car and practice. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm practicing was. Um, I, w I was thinking, all, okay, now I have a, my, my name is Hailu, and then someday if somebody asking me to play, and I, I was not expecting this uh, kind of uh, uh, tour, but yeah. uh, if somebody asking me, let's say a friend or somebody, can, uh, play, mm -hmm. can you play something? I cannot say I, I cannot play because music is you have to practice it. Yes. If you don't practice it, you're going you're gonna to lose it. So the, the career is in, in, in the back of your mind. Yeah. You're practicing in the, in the, in the back seat of your car. Uh -huh. People don't, don't even know it. Yes. You think, well, maybe if someone asks me to play, then at least I'm able to play. And then comes the call, yeah. the phone call. Yeah, the phone call, uh, call comes from uh, Berlin, uh, Brian Shimkovitz. Yes. He called me and uh, he asked me about... He was a blogger. Yeah. And he has a label uh, mm -hmm. called Awesome Tapes of Africa. Yes. Tell, tell us how it went. So he called me and he asked me if I, he's interested about my one of my cassettes and uh, he wanna reissue it. So um, I asked him the first thing is how, how he find it. Where did he find it? Yeah, where did you find it? And he said, I, was in, I went to Ethiopia in uh, uh, Dar, which is uh, the other province of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Then when he went to them in the store, he finds that cassette. Yeah, how so, old was the cassette from which year? That was the, the cassette was the cassette was released in 1985. Okay, all right. Uh, so you said yes. Uh -huh, yeah, and then she, um, of course, um, I want on because I have uh, like about um, more than one cassette, so I don't know which one he was looking for. He yeah. sent me the picture. He emailed me, and then yeah. you know, okay, we ag we agreed how to do the business. Yeah, that's how the whole starts. The whole thing starts. And then, were you aware of the fact that? Um, the world is very much into retro, exotic, global music at this time, and they were sort of eager, waiting for a tape like yours. When he asked me um, if I, while if he want to re release it, at the yeah. same time he asked me if we go, if we give you promotion, can you play? Because he said we don't know where you are. We, nobody knows if you are playing music or not. Yeah. So when but he you asked, you were secretly ready because yes. you've been practicing yeah. in the taxi. Yeah. And he said you've been uh, out of the uh, you know public eye for yeah. almost 20 years. I told him yes, but even though I was out of for 20 years, but I I still practicing every day. So what you have to do is just bring the the business. We'll, we'll go for it. That's how what happened. <laughs> wow, amazing. And then I find out, you know, on the first show I had in, in uh, Europe, and then, you know, when I see the people love the music. What New I audience. Yes. We were delighted to have you here. Thank you so much. You still drive your taxi because you, 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 you can do basically what you want. So you can go on tour and 
drive the taxi? Me, I, I don't drive like I used to because now of I'm kind not. of busy and yeah. I go everywhere. So yeah. whenever I stay in the city, I just do for a little bit and yeah. then I go back to my practice. So, you know, just... I think more people are going to recognize you now. Oh, no, yes. No, it's very hard. <laughs> oh, now it's hard to drive. <laughs> yeah. We're going to listen to you. Thank you so much for yeah, being thank here. You. Thank you for thank having you. me. Thank, thank you. you.